earlier, Joe, that Burkle gave up a couple of softies, but Garth Snow makes his first start in the last couple of weeks, part of our New York lottery goaltending matchup. And um, Steve Sterling continues to talk about how with Garth Snow, the batter to the worst angle. Blake made a good move to set up Minima, centering pass, they score! A gorgeous setup to Sean Bates, and the red-hot Bates puts the Islanders in front, one to nothing. What a pass from Yanni Ninema. He it ended up on his stick, and quickly, watch how quickly he moves it to Bates. There it is, doesn't keep the puck long, throws it to Bates, who came right back to the net. This is beautiful passing. Started by Blake to find Ninema, to find Bates, and it's in the net. Burkle didn't have a chance. But it's the work of Bates. Watch how he keeps moving. Now he just he, he hustles back to the corner of the net to put him. Tan takes it from York. Mira Shatan to Campoli. Down low, backhander, save made. Hunter scores! Fred Hunter on the rebound. A power play goal, and the Islanders lead it 2 to nothing. Well, a very smart play from Campoli. Campoli, when he looked to shoot, he knew it was going to be blocked. So he passed off to the side. There it is, the pass there. And then the one shot by Martinic. And then the rebound by Hunter. Martinic just gets it to the net, does a good job. Burkle can't control the rebound, and Hunter on the backhand puts it over him. But Campoli made the play, made the smart play because he had his head up and elected. Wide handle, lugs it in. And across to Asham, he scores! Aaron Asham, who had just hit the goal post, makes good with another chance. And last one by Burkle to put the Islanders on top, 3-1. to one. And Steve Sterling's on the bench saying, see, I keep telling him to shoot. I keep telling him to shoot. He lets go two shots here. This is a good pass. Very good pass from Winehandle. And Burkle tried to get over there, but that shot was up high, just underneath the crossbar. And hard. Boy, he put everything into that Aaron Asham. Fire. Campoli, shot, kick, save. Rebound, Shatan. He turns, he shoots, he scores! Miro Shatan, just as Sutton came out of the penalty box, has scored his 10th goal of the year, and the Islanders lead it 4-2. to two. You know, York made a smart play because he elected not to try and pass the puck through someone and instead go back. Now, look at the wrist shot by Campoli and a smart play by Shatan. Shatan got the puck on the backhand, knew the goaltender was down, and watch him just look here and then just spin to a point where he could get the puck up high. Bates, two bad groins, stepping on the pedal, lets it go, he scores! Just after the penalty expires, Sean Bates does it again! And the Islanders have a 5-3 to three lead. He was running on uh, fumes. Steve Sterling should take him after the game and stretch his legs as far <laughs> as they go apart to make sure they stay pulled. <laughs> what a play. Has to kick up the puck to his skates with those bad groins. And then the perfect shot. Here's Snow on the save. Look at that. Look at the glove. Stays with it all the way as Bonder's trying to put it in. And the Islanders clear it. And then this shot. About just that. over the shoulder, by the way, got four minutes. Jitnik across, and Shatan scores. Burkle stopped it but couldn't control it. It slides over the goal line. Shatan second of the game. A power play goal, and the Islanders lead 6-3. to three. Well, The Islanders will stand the five on three as well, I believe, for a while with all the players they have, maybe until tomorrow. Uh, well, yeah, absolutely, because... There's the pass, hard pass all the way across, which was a good pass by Gashin. Just underneath the stick, this is a great pass. X will be, look at, this, look at the puck go between the stick blade and the skates. And that makes it difficult to bring the stick back in and defend the puck. And Winehandle will start ahead with Bates. He put it behind Blake, who catches up to it. Here comes Blake, makes his move, and scores! Nice quick shift to the backhand. Jason Blake has the seventh Islander goal of the night. 7-3 to three, New York with 27.2 seconds to go. Yeah, it started off behind the Islanders' net. Or Slater tried to put the puck in front. The Islanders intercepted, went the other way, and they just threw it off the boards and let Blake skate into it. There's Bates, who get an assist on the play. Throws it out there, lets Blake get there. Look at the fake shot there. Gets Perkle to go down and then just goes to his backhand. Drops his shoulder, watch him drop the shoulder there. 
and then just slides it past it. Freezes the goaltender, and the Islanders are going to win this one. They're up by four against the team that had won three in a row. Goddard on the ice now, as is Asham. Eric Bolton is not. They've got XLB and 90 back on defense. Larson, Oli, Oban up front, so it doesn't look like anything's going to develop here. Final couple of seconds. Larson takes the shot. Snow gloves it as time runs out, and the Islanders break it open in a power play packed third period. It was almost redundant the way the rest of the game went. Garth Snow's first game in a couple of weeks came up strong, and the Islanders with their highest goal scoring output of the season. Two by Blake, uh, Bates, and it's a 7-3 New York final. And you know what they did, Howie? They responded after leading by two goals to start the period. They gave up an early goal in the third period, and Atlanta was back to within a goal at 4-3, and the Islanders then turned that around and were able to score three consecutive goals for the win. Lots to come here on FSN New York, including the best sports show period, which is coming up next. We've got more seconds. Larson takes the shot. Snow gloves it as time runs out and the Islanders break it open in a power play packed third period. It was almost redundant the way the rest of the game went. Garth Snow's first game in a couple of weeks came up strong and the Islanders with their highest goal scoring output of the season. Two by Blake, uh, Bates and it's a 7-3 New York final. And you know what they did, Howie? They responded after leading by two goals to start the period. They gave up an early goal in the third period, and Atlanta was back to within a goal at 4-3, and the Islanders then turned that around and were able to score three consecutive goals for the win. Lots to come here.